Hello, Colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca. And welcome to another interesting episode where we discuss on some interesting updates. In this episode, we are going to start with Xavi Hernandez's pretty much press conference ahead of the Rayo Vallecano clash, where Xavi talks about Gavi, Frankie de Jong, Ter Stegen, Araujo, Rafinha, Pedri, Gundogan, Vito Roja, ahead of Rayo Vallecano versus Barcelona. We are going to discuss on that as we move ahead. Secondly, talking about Araujo, as the Barca defender is set to captain the team for the very first time versus Rayo Vallecano. So as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe, give the video a like, and please watch it right up to the very end. Barca balls Xavi has stamped Gavi's injury as a significant loss saying that the young midfielder is an irreplaceable player in his squad. The 19-year-old was earlier ruled out for the rest of the season and also for next year's UEFA Euro after tearing his ACL during international commitment for Spain against Georgia. As Barca prepared to take on Rayo Vallecano in their return to La Liga action following a grueling international break, Xavi pressed the importance of the young star during the media duties, saying that tomorrow's game is precisely where he would have needed Gavi the most, he said. It is a significant loss, a disgrace. He is an irreplaceable player because of the passion, desire and courage he put in. He is a player who contributes a lot to us and tomorrow is a game where we would precisely need Gavi. It is to be noted that Xavi experienced a knee injury of similar magnitude during his playing years. So why is speaking about it? The manager explained that he had a talk with Gavi and he did share his personal experience with the player. I have spoken with him. I had the personal experience that made me a better footballer, more mature. I was aware that I had to take care of myself a little more, do prevention when necessary and take care of the details. From there, I became more professional. I don't skip any recovery days, recover as best as possible. It's very important to recover well. Vallecas is always a very complicated field and in recent times we have not been able to win. We recover players and with the mentality and desire to see if we finally beat Rayo, he added on the challenge that awaits his team tomorrow. Spanish national team manager Luis de la Fuente was largely criticized for his use of Gavi and when asked about his relationship with the national team coach, Xavi said, I have a very good relationship with de la Fuente. He called me on Monday on or Tuesday and we talked. I have a very good relationship with him and also with Luque. Of course, I don't see that it is a problem. Of the manager but also calendar management he at his age gavi has played many matches and the calendar is full of games and that has been the reason of the injury in addition to bad luck the manager added that de la fuente is not at fault for what happened but the fixture congestion is no problem with de la fuente um, it is a problem with the calendar and too many games we always send a report on how they are, how they have trained, the number of minutes. We are always in contact with all the federations, not just the Spanish one. We also or we always send the report so they can see how they are. Everyone. From then on, everyone has their interest. Adding to, you know, to the, his information, the manager also affirmed that regular first team goalkeeper Mark Andrete is taken will not be available for the game, meaning that Inaki Piana will be the automatic starter against Rayo Vallecano, he said. Tomorrow, Mark Andre Ter Stegen will not be able to be there with us, and all the confidence now is in Inaki Piana, who is 100% prepared. He also said the midfielder Frankie de Jong is 100% fit and will be available for selection, he said. We have noticed Frankie's loss when he was not there, like Pedris. He is 100% fit. He has been with the group for days and he is now available. On the other hand, he also said Araujo 
and Rafinha arrived late from international duties and had hardly trained, he said. We are, we are conditioned by the minutes, for example, Araujo and Rafinha have hardly trained. They have had to rest. We are worried about fatigue at the minute. We do test and injury prevention. You know, we do test to see how they are and thus decide the lineup. It is to be noted that Xavi lashed out at the press personnel after he sides 2-1 win over Alaves, saying that the media criticism is hampering his players' performance on the field. When asked to elaborate on the same, he said, I said what I thought. At halftime against Alaves, I realized that many were affected by external criticism and I insisted that they free themselves. That's why I said at a press conference that it was affecting us. But at no time did I use this as an excuse for the level of play. We played poorly in the first half because of us. What affected us, of course, but I don't make excuses. It is said why Barca are already working on drinking Vitor Roque in January. There's a thought of signing a midfielder to cover Gavi's loss. Javi said, this is not the time to talk about the market. Honestly, we have Roche, more footballers that we watch. But tomorrow there's Rayo, then Porto, then Girona. So guys, now let's move to the next story of discussion. Following the end of the third international break of the new season, FC Barcelona has set to resume their campaign on Saturday as a take on Rayo Vallecano. However, heading into this game, the club have faced a myriad of setbacks, including Gavi's long-term ACL injury that has forced Xavi to train a host of young stars this week. Another player who picked up a knock during international break was Mark andre Ter Stegen. Xavi confirmed today that the German won't be part of the tomorrow's clash. Ter Stegen's absence against Rayo Vallecano should pave the way for Inaki Pena to prove himself in between the sticks. But another young player who could receive an exciting opportunity in the wake of Ter Stegen's absence is Ronald Araujo. According to AS, the Uruguayan international is set to captain the Barca team as they take on Rayo Vallecano this weekend. Araujo will wear the armband and lead the team out to the pitch for the very first time in his career in the absence of Ter Stegen and Sergio Roberto, who might be available on Tuesday against Porto. So it is no secret that Barca rate Araujo quite highly, not just as a defender, but also as a leader. The 24-year-old was named the third captain this season behind Roberto and Ter Stegen following the departures of Sergio Busquets and Jody Alba. Araujo will have the chance to lead a team clock full of experienced stars like Lewandowski and Inigo Martinez. His performance, therefore, could prove to be critical. In the meantime, Xavi is hopeful of having both Ter Stegen and Roberto back in action on Tuesday night when the team takes on FC Porto in the UEFA Champions League. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.